Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Falker County Public Schools with another video update. Uh, today's update comes on the heels of Monday's school board meeting. And during that meeting, the school board approved my revised uh, recommended fall opening plan. Uh, it was revised from the June 29th meeting. I presented a plan then. The board asked for more information. They asked for another survey to be conducted. Uh, I believe they wanted more time to hear from uh, constituents relative to what was being proposed. Uh, they also wanted to uh, spend some time talking to local epidemiologists. So those things occurred at last night's meeting. They approved the updated plan. A um, few things. The, um, the, the plan also includes some adjustments to the calendar. And I'll lay those out for you right now. The teacher reporting date is August is now August 10th. The first day of school is now August 24th. It had been proposed as August 19th. The last day of school is June 4th. And the first professional development day is moved from October 12th to October 19th. And that's that's a significant day because that's the end of the first quarter. And our hope is that by the October, actually it would now be October 20th. The PD day would be October 19th. The, first, the day back for students would be October 20th, the 19th being a holiday for students. We're hoping that on October 20th, that we're uh, at that point doing our uh, conducting face-to-face -face instruction with all students four days per week with a break on Wednesdays for additional cleaning, uh, staff development, etc. So those were adjustments to the calendar and um, that, that was uh, another action taken up by the board last night. So um, now, as far as information, so when I came to work this morning, as expected, I was deluged with uh, questions, which I completely expected, and it's completely understandable. Lots of questions via um, email and Twitter. Some I'm able to answer, some I cannot answer. Um, the, um, the plan moving forward now is our PIO is creating a website with update and updated FAQ section. If you've been following anything that's been occurring in our, with this uh, with our COVID website since February, we, we have had an FAQ document that's been consistently consistently updated. We're going to produce a new FAQ document, frequently asked questions document, uh, relative to school reopening. And along with that document, there'll be resources on this web page, and um, it'll be c continually updated as we're uh, making specific decisions about various things. Uh, but all along the way, we, we've been we've been um, planning uh, big picture for different scenarios, different instructional models, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so that information will be included in the website. Um, I'll also be continuing these video updates uh, regularly and to provide information and, and hopefully answer questions that, that have been posed. We're also going to be creating a video, so we're going to start planning next week. Uh, to create a what to expect the first day of school or for first week of school video that we'll be providing to um, all parents and all staff and probably have some staff involved in the creation of the video. Um, so that that's forthcoming. Also, the, the date I've given the next date and sort of the reopening timeline for us is uh, July 27th. That's a work session with school board members. Now, that, that doesn't mean we're going to be withholding information from you all moving towards July 27th, it means I've told my staff by July 27th, we will be presenting our specific cherry on top plan to the school board for their uh, input. But between now and that time, we will continue to provide information, specific information, especially the related to some of the questions that I've been receiving, and they've been good questions. And uh, one common question, for example, is I'm trying to decide between uh, doing the uh, two day a week three days virtual model or doing the 100% virtual model, but I can't make that decision until I know what the virtual instructional model will look like. Great question. We'll be providing that information to you. Uh, staff has been working very hard on, uh, on this planning to make sure that we're giving you what it is that you need. Um, I mentioned during the uh, meeting last night that likely there would be another survey. I think people are surveyed out. Uh, but there is specific information that we do need. Um, for example, we need we do need to know how many parents specifically are intending to um, 
adopt the 100% uh, virtual model for their child. We do need, need information about transportation and parents' uh, willingness or ability to drive their children to school and other questions like that. But instead of doing another survey, we're gonna add them to the online registration resource. Um, and so if you try to do uh, participate in online registration the next day or two and you see that the site isn't available, it's because we're updating the site. And so those questions will be included. Um, 80, about 80 parents have already done the online registration piece. Uh, we'll be reaching out to those parents and uh, telling them that unfortunately they're going to have to go back and add information uh, on the, in the OLR uh, resource. So stay tuned for that. That should be coming. Uh, that information should be coming very soon from our PIO. Uh, and, and just again, make sure you're checking your emails. Make, make sure you're checking our, our Facebook page, our Twitter page, our website, uh, the website I mentioned. Um, for information as it as it's uh, as it's sort of developing. Um, okay, last but not least, some some critical dates coming up and just sort of informational to you. Uh, today, I'll be participating in a town hall meeting with, with um, the teachers, members of uh, Walker Education Association. So I don't know exactly how many teachers will be involved, but we talked to them and answered some of their questions. Also, be uh, meeting with my virtually meeting with my uh, teacher advisory group known as ACES on July 20th uh, to provide information for them and ask questions for them. Um, and um, I mentioned the town hall. Okay, we're good there. Um, and I also mentioned the video updates that will be continuing. So there are some critical key communicative uh, timelines and events coming up soon. And um, I, I mentioned earlier, and I'll just end on this, and, and, and uh, I'm going to get on my soapbox just a little bit. And I, and I, and I actually, I mean, no offense or, or uh, I mean, no offense by this at all. But I, I want to say something about the questions I've received. The questions are, are very good. And, and, and people after last night's meeting, I think that was a, that was a real trigger for folks that, uh, you know, who want information. I totally get that. I respect that. But I'll tell you, many of the questions I'm receiving from parents and 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 um, questions and concern from parents and staff, they have a, a sort of a pretty a pretty good general answer. That is, as long as we're working together and we're cooperating with each other and we're communicating with each other, I think we're going to be fine. I think things will be fine. Um, I'm getting lots of questions, for example, about masks and what if what if students don't wear masks and what if teachers don't want to wear masks and what if uh, what if you know the the online um virtual instructional piece is similar to spring and and it, it's it, you know the plan is that it will not be it'll be much more meaningful um, but those sorts of questions are, are sort of coming in and and i get that but oftentimes the answer is Let's communicate and work together and cooperate with each other and sort of do what we're asked to do and we're going to be fine. I think it's when people decide that they're going to do their own thing and uh, they're going to sort of go off the rails and, and take, take a different tact that we get in trouble. But the, the bottom line is we got to look out for each other's safety. We got to look out for each other. Um, do those things that uh, science has told us will prevent others from getting sick. And I think we're going to be in a, in a good place. And is the, the model that we're coming up with or generating perfect? Uh, no, I don't think it is. And I, I, I don't know that there is a perfect model out there, but we can improve it and we can improve it through communicating with each other and helping each other and uh, serving as a resource for each other. If we do those things, I think we're going to end up in a very good place and people will be safe and um, we can move to more face-to-face -face instructional time which is the ultimate goal and i think the thing that just you know everyone wants as long as it's done safely so um that's my update for now hope everyone has a great rest of the week and please stay safe